All right, fans, we're out here at the North Carolina private test facility for TAC TV. This is the moving target challenge between the SR25 and the HK21. My good buddy from Arizona, Dave Royer here, it's gonna act as a spotter with some of the best like equipment available on the market. We have a nice moving car from the junkyard donated by Tactical Suppressed Weapons near Durham, North Carolina. We wanna shout out to them and thank them for helping us out on the show. Now, here's the way it's gonna work. We're shooting from this position right here, this flat bench, in our overwatch position on the second story of an unfinished building, kind of in the attic area. We have a span outside on the road, roughly seven second driving time of the vehicle going about 15 to 20 miles an hour. We have a right limit marked by an MGM target painted red, set at about 160 yards. We have a left limit for our range of fire with an MGM target set at about 115 yards. And between those two, we have to engage first with the SR25, then with the HK21. This, both scopes are gonna be set on four power because that's the max magnification on the Schmidt and Benner short dot. This scope is also set to four power, but beyond that, we're gonna use the 20 round mag and the SR25. We're gonna use the belt and select fire if need be on the HK21. The goal here is to see how many rounds we can put on target on the Ipsic silhouettes inside the four door car. Should be cool. This will be fun. Got some good hits on it. All right, Dave. Well, first off, guys, that was a blast. And best we can count here, at least five hits. We have some that probably went through here that we can't account for. The way we assess it is, the driver's pretty much KIA. The passenger on that side's KIA. This guy in the back there wouldn't have been having a good day, but he may have just been wounded. Now, when we go to the HK21, remember, it fires closed bolt, semi, three shot burst, and full auto. And based on what I've seen here, I'm gonna use three shot burst and see if we can't get better hits and more hits on the car. We're gonna have our driver take it back around and try to replicate the exact same speed. The SR25 did rather well. I mean, we had several shots on it. We had some that passed through the glass, so it's hard to really get a read on where those went. But overall, it went well, because remember, the key thing is, whenever you're shooting at a vehicle, shoot the driver. That's how you stop the vehicle. And we did that. Is what the home slice is talking about. Dude, you were fing rolling on that. <laughs> Followed up with HK21, we shot a lot more ammo, it was a lot more fun, but a lot of rounds went over the target. And that's one of the things you get into full auto in the burst mode. And one of the abilities the HK21 has over other guns is you can switch it to semi auto and revert right back to that designated marksman roll, depending on the optic you're running. Okay, Dave and I came down, counted 11 hits with the HK21. What we saw is as the gun got into burst mode, rounds had a tendency to walk high, which is not uncommon with a belt fed like that, especially at that cyclic rate of fire. Now, remember, if you want to stop a vehicle, you aim at the driver, and both with the SR25 and the HK21, I could confidently say the driver would have been KIA. We had exact same thing here. We had some hits here that basically eliminated him, which means the car is then out of action. But a good point we had off camera is, you know, there's a time and a place for some auto, there's a time and a place for full auto and you gotta kind of switch back and forth. If I'd have been able to see the better hits, then I could have went back to semi-auto on HK21 and resumed some semi-automatic direct fire on target. Now, apparently Dave and the crew have cooked up another little follow-up here and you know what wouldn't be TAC TV, Dave? Well, I'm not satisfied with this glass still being intact. So and, the, and the car itself is basically too intact. 
So we've got more ammo, we've got a belt fed, we've got time, so guess what? More's coming at you and guarantee you, you're gonna like it. All right, going hot. are not gonna believe what it did to that car. It, I mean, the car is not even there anymore. Dude! Dude, you are not gonna believe it. Oh my God, dude. Dude. That's, a, oh my God, dude. That was unreal. Dude. Whoa. That is like five times the explosion I thought it was going to be. <laughs> wow. Woo, we got to go and check that out.